Ooh, this is a degenerosity video. School drills. Yeah, I've been watching this guy's uh, videos off off stream quite a bit. I like this guy's videos. On Earth, we face a multitude of natural enemies. We have the wild animals, the natural disasters, the fire nation, and worse yet, <laughs> Back it up, Terry. Steve Kerr's Put son. it reversed. And throughout our <laughs> Terry, put it reversed, Terry. Fire nation, and worse yet, Steve Kerr's son. And throughout our lives, we are preparing ourselves if we ever suddenly find ourselves in a situation where we come across these obstacles. Normally in the grown-up world, we'll just shoot and ask questions later if we encounter these problems. And sometimes, half the time, it works every time. However, there are some occasions that humanity's natural enemies might come for us at school. And in case of those situations, we have school practice <laughs> drills. Now, is that really why we have school drills? No, I just have a phobia of Steve Kerr's son. American schools are known for a lot of things. None of them are good things, but they are certainly things. Oh. And I remember in school, we used to have surprise emergency practice drills. You know, stuff like the fire alarm piercing our ears at 8.30 in the morning while we're still half asleep. Oh, and for me, <laughs> these drills never made sense. Because each drill, they'd want us to Those act in worst. a calm and organized fashion. Even in a situation when it's not a drill and it's the real thing, they expect students to just walk out calmly. That's just not reality. In a real fire drill, nobody gonna walk in a single file to well, how are you out supposed the door. To, how are you supposed to be walking calmly when the the sirens from hell are going off all around you? And he's absolutely right about like, why, why do they always do it early ass in the morning? For, for my school, it was absolutely terrible because for our fire drills, they'd make us do a fire drill and an evacuation drill all in the same day. And they'd like move us from our school in the morning, cold, wet, and uh, they'd move us to like this uh, pithy, like a, like a, what's it called? Like, uh, uh, like a orphanage home that's like across the street. And they'd send us there and we'd just chill there for like an hour. It was, it was like kind of fun, but it's also like the process of getting there was so annoying. And then we had to walk back. Oh man, it was so bad, but it was, it was kind of fun we'd, we'd have our fun with it. everyone is gonna be running and sprinting out of there shoving everything and everyone out their <laughs> way that's what's really gonna happen nobody's gonna be calm and collective everybody's gonna be running out of there because they don't want to burn to death now nice. this also might not be the safest way to do it because in a perfect world we're all running as fast as possible but we're all running in sync you know nobody getting trampled or injured no casualties we'll all get out of there spick and span the problem is that doesn't exist and we have some slow ass people holding us up from us trying not to be burned alive fast students trying to run away and the slow students holding them up but i don't want the slow students to get injured you know we're all human after all i'm trying to get everybody out of there as safe and fast as possible so i found a simple solution to that problem during a real fire drill all the slow people, you know who you are, stay back in the classroom and wait for everybody else to run out. Then after when everybody's gone, then you can go. Hopefully, you didn't get burned alive during that time. Simple so we're just gonna leave simple them. solutions. Okay. This might sound right. inhumane, but I swear <laughs> this is the best option for everybody. I speak for the people when I say this. <laughs> just leave them there. We don't want slow niggas walking two kilometers an hour while we're trying to sprint out a burning building. We will push you out the way and run you over. No joke. There's literally no time to waste. You walking around <laughs> slow is gonna kill the both of us. And not gonna lie, I'd rather you die than me. So get the hell out the way! Leaving them behind in the classroom is the the best option that's how fire <laughs> drills at school should be done not this single fire line stuff they will be safe i promise you. everybody will run leave for them with a water bottle just in case but you know what's worse than how schools do fire drills how schools do lockdown drills i don't know if they do this in other countries because y'all don't really gotta worry drills. about this happening like us americans do but lockdown drills are basically drills preparing us for just in case a dude come in school trying to play real life Call of Duty. And during these practice drills, they had us turn off the lights in the classroom, lock the door, <laughs> and had us all hide in the same corner of the room, staying Mr. quiet. Bean turning and off when I say light. quiet, I mean quietly talking. People Red. like to talk. Red. And yeah, that's basically what we have to do True. during lockdown drills. Bro, people were always goofing on these lockdown drills. There was always at least one person getting in trouble from these lockdown drills. Uh, so bad.
Now, do you see why this is dumb? We're supposed to do this if the Joker comes in the building. Every student in the classroom is basically in one place, just hoping that he doesn't come in. This don't leave students safe. This leaves students vulnerable. Just because you turn off the lights and lock the door doesn't mean he thinks nobody's in there. Bitch, he was in there with us doing the practice drills. He knows what's up. And me personally, I'm not sitting there waiting to die. Soon as I hear a for real lockdown drill and I start hearing, I'm going to grab the nearest chair and bust the window open, then jumping out, then running as fast as humanly possible. What you think I'm gonna do? Just sit there and play hide and seek with him? No! But there's complications to this too. What if the classroom don't have any windows or you're in a classroom in the basement? Well, sorry to say this, but you might be screwed and I'm not gonna hold you. Really the best thing I can recommend in that situation is running zigzags, bro, running zigzags. He's gonna miss. Zigzag. However, I have a plan for how lockdown drills should be done. Now, we can't have everybody running outside the classroom where the sh is at. That's just not smart. So we gotta have an escape plan with zero casualties. Here's the plan. On the loudspeaker on a normal day of school, the announcer will be talking about a special assembly, saying, Good morning, students. May I please have all the Ethans, Connors, Zacks, Hunters, really all white boys that are wearing DC shoes, Please head to the auditorium Jeez. for a special assembly. There will be complimentary monster energy drinks, mayonnaise, and Christian Bell and Ben Sharpio will be special guest speakers. Head there as soon as mm. possible. Thank you. As soon as they hear that announcement, they're going to be running out that door like animals. They're going to get there as soon as possible. You had them at mayonnaise, bro. You had them at mayonnaise. We do this to get rid of all the quiet kids because one of them got to be it, bro. One of them, bro. And the special guests don't actually have to show up. It's just a front so we can actually talk about the real plan with the students. Okay, so the plan is this. We all jumping out the window, not hiding in the classroom. We all leaving. After that, outside of every classroom is a secret passageway and this secret passageway is gonna look like a big wardrobe closet looks normal right it's supposed to be misleading because it really leads to a secret basement under the school that only we know about and in that basement there will be bulletproof armor for all the students <laughs> and weapons of mass destruction this is literally <laughs> bro looks like he was gonna go for elden lord <laughs> Straight geared up. Proof armor for all the students and weapons of mass destruction. This is literally the <laughs> safest place for these students to be. And bam, it's that easy. I just made a drill that's infinitely better than what students do now. Tell me I'm wrong. Then after we done going over the real drill, we call all the quiet kids students back from the assembly. Then they arrive at class. Then we're gonna go over the fake practice drill which is the real practice drill that people go over today. I just solved American school's biggest problem in like a few minutes. And now a common question might be, well, where are we gonna get the money for weapons of mass destruction and body armor for all the students? And I'm glad you asked that question. And here's my answer. Good question. I don't know. There were also oh. tornado drills. I didn't really do this in school because there's really no tornado, <laughs> tornado drills. But the few times we did it, I didn't really understand it as a kid because we'd have to go in the hallways and go <laughs> on the walls and duck. Curl and up. I thought, what is the tornado going to do? Jump over us if we all duck it on the wall? Like, what is this? Now right. that I'm older, I can understand if you don't got a basement, this is probably the best no, option always to did protect seem yourself from a tornado. Like what a else can you really idea. do? Run? You're going to try to run away from it, and you're going to end up in the <laughs> land of the wizard. Of How is ducking and curling supposed to save us? Boss. But school tornado practice drills is overall done right. Congratulations, you've done one thing right. Man, I should become a principal and run a school. Based on my ideas on how so to run school drills, my school of about to be the safest school in America. Unlike these other schools teaching fake fundamentals of safety, my school is gonna teach the real fundamentals of life and safety. How to do the bat win with your nuts at? DJ in Ohio Tech, grades K to 12. <laughs> I'm gonna open that school the and bat have the motherfucking Incredibles <laughs> and Baki's dad as security. This is gonna be the safest school ever. The yeah, bat that's pretty bat. much all I wanted to say. I just had a random thought about saving the schools of America by actually proposing good school drills. And in conclusion, any school that's missing a principal hit me up. Me, me, mama, Keep it up. Right. Me, me, mama, They'll be getting me, calls, me, surely. Me, me, mama,